Hello, dear friends. The signs of change are becoming clearer with each passing day. Opinion piece. Finland will make quantum pieces. Receives 35 million euro injection from the EIB to accelerate the development of quantum processors. Quantum computing on the ground is still in its infancy. All countries are connected to the quantum financial system QFS. New global financial system is quietly under construction. BlackRock chief admits in quotes that a new world order has failed. Let's start. Finland is working on building the first commercial quantum computer. The European Investment Bank has granted 35 million euros to IQM quantum computers to accelerate the development and commercialization of its quantum processors being built in Europe's first dedicated Finnish quantum manufa manufacturing facility in ISPO. Finland is at the forefront of quantum research. In 2016, Finnish researchers were the first in the world to observe and make a quantum knot using computers to conduct, their sim to conduct key simulations. Ground-based quantum computing is still in its infancy, but it has the potential to revolutionize many sectors, most notably the financial system. This announcement comes after IQM announced in November the opening of, of its first manufacturing plant in Finland. The initial tranche of funding will be used to expand the facility, accelerate materials research and develop quantum processors. This funding follows other news related to IQM's KQ circuits, open source processor design software. The QEXA quantum acceleration project from HPC centers and the opening of the quantum manufacturing plant. IQM is working on building Finland's first commercial 54 qubit quantum computer, while an IQM-led consortium, XEXA, is building a quantum computer in Germany. In this case, the computer will be integrated into an HPC supercomputer to create an accelerator for the scientific research of the future. IQMs employs ma more than 160 people and has offices in Paris, Bilbao, Munich and ISPO. Reset news. First, all countries are connected to the QFS quantum financial system. Second, military movement on the ground and in the air through Poland, Belarus, Latvia and Estonia. Third, economic collapse and possible world unrest approaching. Four, this could trigger a short-lived civilization event. Five, there are precious middle-based currencies that will create the new gold-backed system. Six, gold and stolen assets have been recovered from six subway bankers. Seven, that gold is in secure locations and has been delivered to major countries and will be used after the collapse of the current monetary system. 8. The head of BlackRock admits that a new world order has failed. 9. The Sand Dollar Project, the Bakong Project and the Australian $100 bill were launched in October 2020. 10. This indicates that the new financial system is quietly being built. Crisis First, Deutsche Bank sees a Fed target rate of 5 to 6% that will push a recession. Second, Deutsche Bank's Frankfurt headquarters 
rated on suspicion of money laundering. Laundering. Third, a shocked Wall Street reacts to Amazon's biggest plunge since 2011. Fourth, the US economy declined at a 1.4% annual rate in the first quarter. Five, an egg laying farm in Iowa kills 5 million chickens and lays off more than 200 workers. Markets. First, the stock market isn't crashing like it did in the 70s. It is even worse. Second, Dow Jones drops more than 900 points on Friday. Nasdaq records worst month since 2008 crash. Third, stocks tumble to end April. West start or to the year indicates. Fourth, a total European ban on Russian oil is coming. Five, AMD, Nvidia, and Qualcomm shares fall after Intel signals trouble ahead. Europe. First, ECB forecasts a slower growth due to higher energy prices. Second, hundreds of farmers protest in France over the cost of food production. Third, the Swiss National Bank withdraws its eight serious banknotes as of April 30, 2021. Four, Finland chooses two brokers to sell 75 million in sized bitcoins held by its authorities. Russia. First, Russia uses domestic dollar reserves to avoid bond defaults. Second, mysterious deaths of Russian oligarchs. Six Russian oligarchs have died in strange circumstances since the outbreak of the conflict. Spain and the Americas. First, Spain hires 30 Ukrainian refugee scientists. Second, after threats of supply cuts, Spain clarifies that it will not set it will not send Algerian gas to Morocco. Third, the government of Ecuador declares a state of emergency in three provinces due to drug trafficking. Four, Chilean truck drivers block roads and demand that the government declare a state of emergency due to the increase in crime. Five, at least 20 vehicles burnt in a new attack in southern Chile. At least 20 vehicles were set on fire on Thursday in the Bio Bio region in southern Chile, an area where there is a bitter territorial conflict that has worsened in recent weeks and that confronts the state with Mapuche groups and large forestry companies that exploit forests, aquifers and ancestral lands. Asia. First, heat wave in India and Pakistan. In Delhi, temperatures are expected to rise to 45 degrees Celsius in the next few days, 6 degrees above normal. Second, China sets out to dominate the robotaxi market. Third, China's economic growth rose 4.8% in 2022, beating expectations. Four, 60 to 75% of Bitcoin mining is owned by the CCP. Five, the clusher of Chinese ports could affect the whole world. Six, most of the world depends on goods produced in China. Seven, due to the blockade, thousands of ships are floating in the waters near China. Eight, a large number of ships have accumulated off the coast of Shanghai and the global consequences of this will be visible. Nine, China's blockades are part of the plan to strangle Western trade. 10. China has done away with the old rules of war and the stakes could not be higher. 
exopolitics. Space acts and halls of records in Antarctica, Hitha, Tibet, Tibet, and the Bahamas, according to Dr. Michael Sala. In an Exopolitics Today interview, Jan Charles Moyan and Elena Danam described the trips they both took to a Federation mothership called Excelsior and then to Lake Bostock in Antarctica, where they, wished, they witnessed a space arc with blue giants sleeping in suspension or stasis chambers. Elena describes how the Federation commissioned her to witness young Charles as he toured the Lake Bostock Arc. They then described their respective trips to an arc and Hall of Records under the Sphinx at Giza in Egypt. Jan Charles then describes visiting space arcs under Mount Kailash, Tibet, and one of off the coast of the Bahamas. Elena also talks about recent news that an interstellar object crashed into the Pacific Ocean, and that this would be a gift of positivities to awaken humankind to their existence. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.